My name is Brian Schneider, and here we are at the original Smith & Walensky in New York City, here since 1977. Today we're going to be making for you a cocktail tribute to the great Warren Buffett called the Oracle of Omaha. Warren Buffett is well known for enjoying his cherry coke. So for today we're going to be making you a boozy riff on his favorite drink. The ingredients you're going to need are some aged rum, classic Coca-Cola, a house-made cherry and vanilla syrup, the juice of half a lime, and also some mint for muddling and garnish. First thing you're going to need is a tall glass. And then you are going to take some fresh mint and take the leaves off of the bottom of the sprig here. That, that's going to be used for muddling. Keep the top nice and fresh. Next, we're going to use a house-made cherry and vanilla syrup. Half an ounce of that. For the house-made cherry and vanilla syrup, you're going to be taking syrup from Marasca cherries from Italy, straining it off, and boiling that down with some fresh vanilla. You can also use a dash of vanilla extract if you don't have the uh, vanilla pods. The mint, you're going to muddle into the cherry syrup very delicately so as not to bruise the mint. Next up, the juice of half a lime. About half an ounce. About four ounces of Coca-Cola, Warren Buffett's favorite. And finally, some aged rum. Now, Warren Buffett's a famous teetotaler. So if you're gonna enjoy this cocktail Warren Buffett style, just omit the rum. All right, you're gonna wanna top this off with some crushed ice. And I got my fancy swizzle stick, whittled from a Caribbean plant. I paid entirely too much money for this. You could just use your spoon. A little bit more fresh ice. This is going to get garnished with a fresh mint sprig and some marasca cherries. And there you have it, the Oracle of Omaha. Cheers.